Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is Daddy's Dungeon episode 129. 129. Is that like a special number or something? No, it's just the, the 129th number. Nothing special about it. Do you have a special number? 13. Really? We've already talked about this shit. That's a, that's a bad number for everybody, though. I just like it. Typically, they skip it on fucking the high rises. So, like, you're, you skipped it? Yeah. The building goes from 12 to 14. No, it fucking doesn't. I, yeah, it does, bro. I'm telling you. Okay. It's technically 13. In literal terms, yes, it is floor 13. But they just skip writing it. Yes. That's kind of... And, and and also... That's superstitious. When they when they go to do the finishing and everything on the buttons, there is no 13. For the elevator, there is no 13. For the prints, there is no level 13. There is no 13. Ever That's some that superstitious shit. I had, a, I had an old head once tell me, um, if you're superstitious, you've got no faith. And I was like, well, what the fuck does that mean? I still don't know what that means. He's talking about like believing in God and only what God offers. Well, I got no faith, brother. I'm superstitious as hell. No, <laughs> I, I be climbing under ladders all the time. Do you split poles? That's something I don't do. I, I don't, don't know why. I, mean, I don't. I don't really like. I don't look out for it. I'll fucking do it. I'll step on cracks. I mean, <laughs> my mom's back is broke as fuck, anyways. Nah. I mean, when do you ever get a chance to open an umbrella in a building? Hardly ever. You never. Hardly open one. ever. You always close it. Have you ever broken a mirror? Intentionally? Yeah. No. By accident. No. Why would you say? Why would you say the first one? I don't. I don't believe you get seven years of bad luck. Cause like, think about people who throw mirrors away. That shit breaks. You think they get bad luck? You know what's bad luck when you swallow a piece of gum? It stays in your di- digestive tract for seven years. Is that true though? Because I heard the same thing about cup of noodles, bro. Cup Three of years. noodles. Yeah. I Three shit. Years. I shit strings out when I eat those. That's a tapeworm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to try that tapeworm. No, there's that's a... sketchy, bro. I no, saw no, an no, episode no. on yeah, a thousand okay. ways to die. Oh, that's sketchy, dude. You will fucking lose hella weight, but that's like scary. Kelly in the office. She's like, yeah, I just took this little pill and like this worm inside eats everything for me, so I lose all this weight. That'd be nice. That it, that would be nice, but I saw that uh, in that episode, right? That it started out this tiny little tapeworm, mm-hmm. and it was eating everything that. She was eating. She was eating, but eventually it got so big it became her intestines. <sighs> well, and she couldn't shit it out at that point. It wasn't. It's not not a tapeworm, but it's a what is that called? Where you a detox, and you shit everything out, and there'll be little worms in there sometimes. They're not like they're not terrible for you, but it's it causes bad gut health, and you you feel different, you know. And people are like, yeah, like, I thought I was fine. But look, this is what I shit out. And they have all the worms, like, laid out. Dude, so Gucci Mane's wife, she's, like, a, she's, she's a real big uh, uh, a health, health girl, okay. like, fitness and everything. And she has this, like, detox. this detox drink thing, right? Makes you shit like crazy. And so I, I, be, I be seeing the, the, well, back when I did follow her, she would post reviews that her, her customers would post on her. Uh-huh. And oh my god, these bitches will be saying like, dude, I was sweating my fucking balls off. I'd be going to the shitter every every hour. It's literally know? flushing you out. I want to try it. Yeah, and then they were like, oh dude, this thing was the best. It helped me what's, out. What's that thing called where like you go to the doctor to get the shit taken out? What do you, laxatives? No, no, like uh, there's like a procedure where they'll literally flush the shit out of you. There's a name for it. That's what it's doing. Colonoscopy? No, that's where they look inside of your colon. They don't take anything out. They look in there. Fuck. I forgot what it was called, but that's what the shit, that's what the detox is that, that you're talking about. It's the same same thing, just not by a doctor. That's intense, dude. But you're shitting out all this nasty, like, parasites and shit. That, like I said, not, it, 
going to kill you in your body and just make your body act different. I want to try one of those. Have a weekend to myself. <laughs> just I think to it's going to be more than a weekend of shitting. Bro. Oh, oh, oh. But so they say some parasites are good for us. We need some. I mean, I know they're called parasites, right? Yeah. But some of them... I mean, I'm sure they're not all fucking Like harmful. the bacteria, bacteria. Yes, bacteria, I should say. Yeah, I'm a fucking moron. Fuck. Well, maybe we should do a detox together, like on a weekend. Detox weekend. I don't think I need to lose weight like that. It's not for losing weight. It's a detox. This is not fucking to lose weight. It's a it's detox. It's just to shit our brains out? It's to flush your system of any bad toxins and shit. Because some people, they'll shit black. I'm going to have to take a week off. I feel like I have a lot of fucking shit. Wait, no, what you need to do is you need to say, hey, I have a Monday holiday. I'm going to take it here. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and hopefully you're good by then. You know? Take it Friday midday at work. Yep. And then so on by the, way, the time you get home? Then on the drive home, it kicks? Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. That's kind of sketchy, dude. I'd have to pull over on the side of the road. No, I feel like it would kick in after a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people are like shit black and... It's crazy that shit will shit. take the demons out of you. <laughs> There's like this flower from Jamaica that people are eating now, and they're saying that that's the worst detox in a good way. Like it's the, the most intense. It's the most intense, and people are like, just eat it. It's some bitter ass shitty flower from would Jamaica. You try it? I would totally try it. Totally. I like. I want to try a detox. I'm down to try it with you. I'll totally try it with you. We should look it up. We should look it up first. Totally. But what what health benefits does that bring? Do you know? I told you all the, the it it's not just parasites; it's toxins in your but body. But you said it makes your body feel different. What no. different is it gonna make me the feel? The parasites and shit that you don't even know are fucking with you. It's gonna flush them out. That's why you're shitting so much. Okay. Yes. Understood. But like, what what are some things that others have experienced? Like they felt tired all the time, groggy. Hard to wake up in the morning. All this shit. They started getting acne for no reason. Stressed. Angry. And it's all because it's fucking... Like, your gut biome has a lot to do with your health. You're going to shit out all those toxins. The next thing you know, you're going to have a full, full-grown full beard the next day. That would be that's sick. It. That's like those those toxins and those parasites. They're clogging up your hair pores. Well, uh, Daniel from work, he keeps telling me to grow it out. This is like a week now. I keep shaving it. Because it doesn't get more than this. Let's do this together, cause I've been I, I've been holding back on the shaving, to try and grow it out. Let's do it together. <laughs> should we get Should we get one more shave in? Nah, I'm not. Just, I'm, just, I'm just go for go, it. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just what about my red it. hair? Where Where's that at? I did spot it. You You actually had your finger on it right there. No, you were pretty close. Okay, they can't even see it. Yeah, no way. But it's a good luck. Is that Is that a Is that a thing? Is that another superstition? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm t- I think I'd look good with a full beard. A nice haircut, though. Not, like, shaggy right now, but a nice a nice cut. Shorter. Mm. Something shorter. It'd help if not, you had more eyebrows, I think. Th- that, too. You know? I, but I think I think a beard comes with more eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You gotta, do, I, do I still got Pookie on my, on my eyebrows? You got to plant some fucking I got Pookie fertilizer. Up here? Uh, Pookie? Where are you getting Pookie from? From work? I got it all over my fucking oh, you, head. You guys using that stuff? Yeah, I fucking wipe my fucking face with it by accident. Oh, nice, dude. This I stuff's got, fun, huh? I gotta start wearing a fucking hat. That's what I gotta start doing. Because my hair goes like this the second I bend over and I'm like, you know? Well, actually, I need a haircut. Like I said. Oh, dude, I need a haircut too. I, uh. We're gonna bleep his name. But I know he doesn't listen, but we're gonna bleep it anyways. I've been off social media for a little bit. Like, I barely post at all. And, like, I'm not even going on it mm-hmm. at all. Just YouTube. And I get a shit ton of DMs. I just need to open them. I feel bad. Like the group chats and shit. But oh well. But I don't mute this guy. But he's been sending me shit for months, years. But I never open them. Because he'll send a grip at a time. Like 40, 50 in an hour. Years, you say? Like two years. So, okay. okay. I'd say a solid two years. So post high school. No, 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 no. This Pre-high is... high school? Like, it's... Remember OG listener from the beginning days of the pod? No? Which one is this? Oh. Yeah. And he would... Remember he was listening, tapping in. He was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we still talk because he's in, like, my fantasy stuff. And, uh... 
my girl's like, who is blowing you up? And I was like, oh, this guy just sends me all these fucking reels. Like, look, this is the past five minutes. And there's like, it shows how many real he sends. After, real after real. It's like everyone he watches, he yeah. sends. And then I was like, oh, let's see what, let's see what it is. You want to see? You want to see what he sends me? You can guess what it is. Guarantee it. So look, this is from, I muted him now. <laughs> this is all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh man! And I opened this with my girl, and I was like, "Okay, I was like, you know, I don't open this shit because I, sh I showed her. I was like, look, it's just endless. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The same shit. Right, right. For, I'm not gonna show it, guys. But for those wondering, <laughs> it's just a bunch of Instagram thoughts. That's all he sends me. <laughs> hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. And th there's like a meme here or there. I was scrolling through. What the fuck? And I was, I was trying to show my girl. I was like, babe, look, I haven't texted this guy in this long. Like, I don't look at that shit. And then uh, I was like, fuck. I was like, this guy. And I showed him. I was like, this guy's fucking disgusting. What a pig. Relentless. Because I don't look at that shit. Uh -huh. On his page, bro, got wife and kid all over the page. I was like, Doug. And we're going to leave his name out, too. But I told him. I was like, hey, because he does the same thing to him. I was like, do you ever open his... Uh, his things he was like no why and I was like just take a look and he was like god this guy's a fucking horny bastard <laughs> he was like dude what the fuck if it's what, is his wife not notice that shit you know he's on Instagram all fucking day yeah dude I mean maybe she just doesn't care maybe not maybe she's at the point of like ah I don't care about this guy no more fuck it whatever fuck it I mean Twitch is on you know yeah I've been feeling good though haven't been on social media for a little while and how do you think that's affected your mental state? Honestly, I've been going to bed extra early. I've been getting good sleep lately. You think that's been keeping you up? Oh, yeah. The social media that keeps you up? You know this. I just be like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to scroll social media for five minutes. And five minutes turns into two hours. And it's like, okay, five more minutes. <laughs> and then it's like another 10. And it's like, it's 1230. You got to be up at four. Get your ass to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've now it's before. just like, good night. Out, out like a light. But not even, not even YouTube keeps you up like that. No, cause that's been my problem lately. I haven't been able to find anything on YouTube that really gets my interest like that. So I resort to the talk. Ah. Uh, you know. Uh -huh. I resort to the reels. That, that quick, um, microwave, <laughs> that microwave quickness. Uh -huh. We're the microwave generation, baby. You know? Our brain's rotten right now. You know, we, we, we want everything and we got everything in an instant. We got air fryers. We got 15 second reels. We got fucking instant popcorn. Everything in a flash. And I like it. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I mean, I have... <laughs> well, your attention span is fucking zero. No, it's not that it's zero. I just need to find the, the, the right thing that gets, gets my attention. Like, I love, I love the times where you go on a, every video is a banger. Every video is like, I'm watching beginning to end mm. for, it'll be for hours. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to stop because this is not going to come again for months. But you're, you're a guy, <laughs> you're a guy that I know watches lengthy fucking YouTube videos. Oh yeah. I do not. I do not. The longest video that I will watch, 30 minutes. I know you're one to watch two, three hours even. I know that for a fact. Yes or no? Well, we were just talking about this shit earlier. I was researching Space Marines, brother. Yes, I know for a fact. You watch those long I researched videos. Titus. That's the main character. I, I was researching his background and what the fuck happened to him. And then I researched all Space Marine legions. Then... I'm halfway through a video of them explaining what their ranks mean. Yeah. How long is that? That one's 18 minutes. Not too bad. But overall today, I've probably watched about maybe two hours of YouTube. Solid two. I haven't listened to any music in at least two weeks see and that's where that's where that's the trade-off that i have i i go less of the youtube I mean less of the reels and i go all of the music yeah no music past two weeks straight length videos on the rides 
I guess it's kind of, in my head, I think about it like a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah it is in a way. Because I'm, I'm just listening. I have it on my lap. I got it on the Bluetooth blaring. Just... What do you say? Sometimes I'll zone out and I'm gonna go back like fifty fucking seconds, and then, uh, yeah, it's been good, dude. Space Marines is dope. I gotta play more. I like barely played the campaign, so I gotta fucking right after this, I'm hopping in, brother. And it's crazy because I used to remember um, going to the mall. I forget which mall this was, but we would always go to the mall, and there was this one store where they would have those mini figures. Yeah. Where yeah, like all, the, all those dudes will paint them and shit, yeah. and they'll like they'll customize them, uh-huh. and they would give us a uh, a stock free little uh-huh. little minifigure, uh-huh. and I always loved going to that store for that minifigure, and then all of a sudden it comes back into my life, you know. I, t- I told you, dog. So, it's a sign. Space Marine is part of the Warhammer 40k universe. They're all intertwined. So you were getting Warhammer 40k figures. Maybe Space Marines too. You no, know, they were those... The big, Marine guys. Yeah, they were those big-headed Marine guys that you talk about. Like, they're huge because I remember, uh, like, my trusted YouTuber who tells the, the games, is like, hey, I'm going to critique your game how I really think, and if you don't like it, then I'm not going to fucking critique it at all. Because they'll send it to him early, and that's yeah. what he tells them. So if he likes the game, he'll tell you. If he doesn't, he'll fucking tell you. On early, so he said, "Guys, I'm a huge Warhammer 40k guy," and he, he's like, "You guys never see this corner of my office. I'm a little ashamed of it. Wall to wall, Warhammer 40k from top to bottom, like hundreds of figures, hundreds. That's lit. That guy's like deep in it. Those figures are sick. Yeah. So now I want to like learn more about the Warhammer 40k universe. Mm-hmm. So that's like my next shit. Mm-hmm. That's my next Star Wars, basically. I guess it's gonna keep me occupied for a good month." It's going to be a fucking trip. But not quite an obsession. Not yet. Not yet, huh? I mean, like, you know that Star Wars shit. I was watching five-hour video after five-hour video yeah, daily. Yeah, that's intense. And that, that, would you consider that an obsession? It was more of, like, I wanted to learn about it type of obsession. Because you don't see me going out and, like, buying shit and dressing up as them. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, like, take over my life. I just like the knowledge of it. I like knowing about it. You know? Does that make sense? Uh, absolutely. It makes total sense. Because like, even like Marvel movies, they're all based off comics. So if you really want to get down to it, people make YouTube videos about the comics that the movie's based on. And it gets into grave detail. What drives somebody to completely make their life based off of one specific thing? For example, Star Wars or superheroes on, or I think it, I think Disney. It, it might be some sort of like ADHD slash autism. You know how they lock in. You think so? And they just like fall in love with one thing. And it just completely takes over their life. Cause you know there's fucking people at Star Wars head to toe, wall to wall shit. Yes, yes. And it's head their to life. Toe. Yeah. You know I think it might be some sort of ADHD where they lock in on it, and it's like something about it really grafts them one good bonk to the head and it brings out the real tism in them remember i told you that like only 30 percent of the population can has like a voice in their head that's them like when you have thoughts it's your voice remember <laughs> i told you that's crazy actually that's right? a crazy that's a crazy so you stat. have it i have it i have it but see 30 percent. it seems like so little but that's a lot it's a lot of people every three out of ten people i don't feel as special three out of ten though and then you multiply that by the billions, you know, common yeah. denominator, whatever. They were so I was looking into that a little more. They were saying that's why people, when they make books or movies out of books, they get upset because if you have that, you actually have an ability to make voices when you're reading the book in your head. So you have a picture in your head of what they're supposed to sound like, and when they make the movie, it totally fucks it. So that's why. People will insanely hate on the movie. It's not as good as the book because they have a an image slash voice in their head of of it fitting perfectly to what they to what want. they want. It fits their specific needs. So that, that makes total sense. Yeah, so that makes total sense. I was like blown away by that. That not everyone has that because like when I okay when I read a book, you know I I do the voices. Yeah, me too. And it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me either, but. I am a movie preferer. 
Uh-huh. I do prefer the movies no, over the I, books. I understand. You know? I understand. My, uh, microwave generation, baby. Come on. But I was talking about, like, the Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings shit. People like, oh, this fucking Harry Potter sucks, blah, 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 because of this, this, and that. Porter. But they were saying that's like, it's because they have this perfect picture in their head. And also goes back to the ADHD autism where they lock in. Mm-hmm. So they have this perfect picture in their head. They're in love with the series. And since in their mind and their mind voice doesn't match the movie, they get real pissed off. And I'm, I'm sure, well, there's also like a, a slight bias because it's curated specifically to what this person yeah. likes. I mean, subconsciously or consciously, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like they, whether they know or not, they're making these characters out to be exactly what they want yeah. out of it. Yep. That's cool though. It's so cool. Yeah. And that 70% of people don't have that, it's a fucking loser. That is cool. I don't, I don't, re- <laughs> I don't read enough to know. I mean, cause I do know that I do, I have, I do make, the voices, voices for the characters uh-huh. but I don't read enough to, to be like oh the fucking books are better than, than yeah the only book the only book that I've ever read that was better than the movie granted my fucking list is not that long <laughs> was Lone Survivor uh, the book yeah. was amazing movie was amazing as well but the book Tear Jerker I fucking weeped. Oh, yeah? Uh, movie and a book. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely did. I remember watching that with, with you and Jake, and I was, like, fucking KO'd on the floor. So, was, so you didn't watch it? I've seen the movie, like, five times. Yeah, I, yeah I've seen that movie plenty of times. You know, I know, I know what be happening. When he's sitting there on the tree, his fucking eyes all busted up. He's got the pistol. Boom. Misses, misses. <laughs> oh. oh. My Dude. heart. They miss, miss. Boom. And he's just like. Ugh. And then he's he's like wheezing. <sighs> he's yeah. like wheezing before he gets fucking. Fuck. Oh yeah. That, I, was, I was I was imagining that specific moment too. That's sad. That that, that, that blue-eyed that, Matt Axelson. That that part is so sad. It is so sad. Wow. Wow. I'm having like major PTSD about it right now. It's all coming in. That whole movie is just flashing before my eyes. But I want to talk to you about a weird dream that I had. Hmm. I know you gave me a weird dream. It's a quick dream, microwave generation, but it's a good one, Uh I think. It's very, very odd, right? So last week, maybe it was earlier in the week. I'm not exactly sure. But I ended up falling asleep way, way early in the day. Okay. Like, I didn't go to the gym. I just got home. I showered. 5.36 o'clock. 5.36 o'clock-ish, exactly. And for some reason, I mean, subconsciously, I must have been freaking out about it mm-hmm. because I was worried that I wasn't, I was going to wake up and I wasn't going to be able to fall back asleep again uh-huh. with enough time to get up like ready, my, for work. ready for work. Those are the worst. You wake up at 11. It's like, fuck. And so in my dream, I was freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. Uh-huh. I was like, Fuck. I'm going to wake up. I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep. And then there's a hand on my shoulder. Oh, God. Right? It comes from behind. Mm-hmm. There's a hand on my shoulder. It's Nos- Nosferatu. <laughs> and then um, it's you. Right? I turn around, and then you're like, come here, big boy. You're going to be good, dog. Come here, big boy. That's all you said. Uh, 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 fuck. That's, all, that's all you said. You're going to be good, dog. Oh, right? Okay. And then I ended up, I woke up at like 9 or 10. Oh, Perfect. I woke up at like 9 or 10-ish, got some water, and fell right back asleep. Awesome. Slept through the night until 4 a.m. I was like a little guardian angel that night. Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird. Because cause it was it was like so... Did that door move or I'm fucking tripping? It's the wind, brother. You think so? It happens all the time. Okay, I'm, I got a little scared. It happens all the time. She's dormant right now. Don't worry. <laughs> the lights are going <laughs> That'd be scary Oh man No but it, that, that, that dream was Like calming It seriously did like calm me down So you were, you were freaking out so, Heart rate skyrocketed Real life No Well you were dreaming You didn't know How do you know And then Guardian angel touches you You're gonna be good dog Don't worry Seriously it was like From behind A hand literally just placed on my shoulder mm-hmm. And then I turn around and I see you there. You're, you're, you just say, you're going to be good, dog. 
That's it. That's cool. That's really cool. That's cool. It was cool. It worked. Whatever you did worked. <laughs> <laughs> you probably fucking rammed me so hard it just took me out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking Meek milled you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, you did it, me. Hey, the diddler. Dude. <laughs> got him. I saw a tweet. Oh, my God. It was like a thousand bottles of baby oil. You saw that? He had a party. And they had a thousand bottles of baby oil there. So you, what the fuck? You remember that? You remember a while back? You could fucking wet the Sahara with that shit. You remember a while back? I had showed you, shown you an audio. Yes. Of, of, of the security guard. An audio of, of what sounded like Meek Mill getting rammed. Yeah, we were fucking making fun of it. Yeah. And now we know it was the Meek. diddler and Meek Millie. Oh, confirmed. Well, this the the security guard. Uh, I heard an audio that the security guard was saying that um, he would pretty much sedate a bunch of fucking people, and right? Just fuck them. And take them, take them to his room. And he heard what was the security guard heard what was going on. He would put his ear up to it, and he knew he was fucking the shit out of these people. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, well, he and, didn't say nothing. And so he he recorded. He was like he was like he was like I was off for drinks, so but I don't drink. I was like I smoke. But I bring my own weed. I smoke. But I bring my own weed. Smart. You know? Smart. <laughs> and then he was like, he was like, he was like, if he getting his money, I'm going to get my money too. So I'm, I'm guessing it was kind of like a little bit of blackmail type of thing, you know? Oh, totally. But uh, I hope he got his money. I hope he did get his money, and I hope he's still alive in the next year. Within the next year, I hope he's still alive. I hope he doesn't get got freak suicide accident, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. But, but now the diddler's away. Diller, not not yet. He's, he's going to trial. He's he, in jail. He was denied fifty fifty million dollar bail. Denied fifty million dollars. The thing is, is the diddler's that, got that money though. Oh yeah, he's got it. The thing is, he's either gonna rat everyone out to to save himself some time, and everyone's going down with him, or he's just gonna eat it and just take it. Dog, and, but that's and, what that's what he wants, bro. He's going to eat it? He's going to hike the soap in the shower room. <laughs> That's what he's going to do, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he wants. <laughs> um, do you remember when we were looking at that Meek Mill stuff? <sighs> you got to remember. I don't remember. This was months ago. Th- this was Kentucky Drive. That's, that's what you did on your drive on the way back. You were researching that shit on TikTok for hours. Was I? And that's when you found the Meek Mill audio and you're, we were listening to it. Yeah. Damn, back in March. Yeah, dude. But the but the Diddler's Wrath has been going on for years. Years. Decades, even. Oh. God. This guy's 59 years old. No. He looked good for 59. He looked good for 59. With all hey, that, with hey, all make that, no lucky, dog. With all that adrenochrome he'd be drinking, <laughs> hey. he better be looking good. God damn. Thoughts on that? You think people drinking baby's blood? Dude, absolutely. 100%. You think, you, you think they're eating the baby circumcised skin? Yeah, bro. Are you kidding me? There are people that are willing to do the most to live outrageous shit to reach new heights. You know? Do you think the Fountain of Youth is a real place? The, do I think the Fountain of Youth is a real place? Define the Fountain of Youth. You drink out of it and you stay youthful forever? No. No? I do not think so. Do you think that's just a folklore? I think it's a myth. It's a fucking story. It's a... It's a, it's a yeah, it's a, it's a story. You ever wonder where people get money from enough? Like, there's people still searching for Antarctica. That's like their sole mission in life. That's all they do. Where the fuck they get the funds for that? Where do they get the funds for that? And how you not find it? It's obviously at the top of the globe. Not Antarctica. I mean, uh... How you not find it? Fucking Aquaman's place. Pangea? And Atlantis. And people think they might have found Atlantis. Because there's like a description of it that there's like all these rings... With rings inside of it. That's how it was described. And there's like, uh, when they do the radar scans of the ocean, there's something like that. 
down there. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. They do, like, sonar scans of the bottom of the ocean, and it pings back, and it shows images. Okay, okay. okay. So there's, like, old scriptures that describe Atlantis with, like, these uh, crescent shapes, multiple levels of rings, like, one after another, like, seven of them, with two other rings on the bottom. And they kind of, like, describe the area it's in, so they go out and do sonar scans, and they found something kind of like that with with the rings and all that shit. But they haven't gone down there. They haven't found it. Do you well, think Atlantis is real? They'll implode. Do I think Atlantis is real? I mean, I would say that's more real than the Fountain of Youth. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I mean, with with how uh, sea levels, I'm sure, changed throughout yeah. the Earth's entire lifespan, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so I'm sure Atlantis is a lot deeper than I'm imagining. Yeah. But um, if it is real... Right, but who are we to say if the sea levels did end up reaching that point or not at some at some some time, you know? Yeah, there's people that actually think that it wasn't a city underwater to begin with, like you're saying. It had been it flooded. It, it got flooded. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like what's that fucking water world? Water world was was once a was once a normal piece of land. And then the earth became flooded after an apocalyptic event. Mm-hmm. And then they ended up having to live in a water world. You know? Where, they, where these people constantly searched for land. Yeah. To, to start civilization. There was a... Do you believe in giants that they were real at, at one point? You know what, dude? I think I do. Me too. I think I do. So... Have you been seeing something on, on TikTok? On the I, talk? Haven't, I haven't been seeing something on the talk, but I've mentioned these. I know I've mentioned these on the pod before. Okay. The giant yes. canyons. Uh huh. Right? Those were once trees. Oh, that shit. Yeah. Okay. That were fucking just chopped. Not the canyons, the mountains. These certain mountains. Yes. Yeah, specific mountains. I forget what they're called. Yes. But they literally look perfectly flat. Perfectly flat and the same exact shape. As a cut down tree stump, tree, yes, with the with the exact the shape of and, bark and everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh huh. So who the fuck was cutting that? Who was cutting a tree that big? Okay. Yes. The aliens. The aliens probably shrunk us down. So there's this guy who's been reading scriptures, on on the talk. And, they're describing these giant people. You know. And they describe them as like 12 feet tall men or bigger. And there's kind of been like, there's this footprint in this fucking rock. Where the fuck did that come from? It's a perfect footprint or there's a face or there's some shit like that. And then it describes the flood. It's like the perfect height to to drown them, to drown the fucking giants. And in every ancient civilization that... There's a giant. In every ancient civilization that uh, has given us some type of drawing, there's always a rendition of a giant. You know? So you watch Ancient Apocalypse? No. Talks. TED Talks? TikToks. Oh. (laughs) So, they, uh, oh, I saw this on Twitter, actually. I saw the, the guy reading the scriptures about giants on TikTok. Because whenever I go to upload a TikTok, something will pop up, and I don't usually watch it. That's what popped up. And then coincidentally, there was, uh, you know the Catalina Islands? Yeah. There was uh, giant bones, human-like, human skulls, but giant, like fucking massive, like seven, eight feet. And there was pictures and everything taken of them. And then they all just vanished. Like, it was wiped from existence. Like, no one knows what happened to them, but there's still rumors and talks and photos, but people don't know if they're fake or not because they're old. It was in early 1900 that they discovered the, the bones. And it just, like, makes you wonder if there really was giants at the, at the time, you know? And they died there. See, something like that, to me, is more believable than a fountain of youth. Yeah, you know? I can Be- see that. Because in prehistoric times, maybe, I mean... 
I don't know how long ago prehistoric is, probably even before that. Billions. Millions. Um, Millions. Bugs. Fucking humongosaurus rex. Yeah. You've seen King Kong, the new one, right? All of them. So, but but the newer rendition of it, the first the first new King Kong. Okay. Right. When they when they went onto Skull Island, they were literally shooting giant fucking mosquitoes. Yeah. Giant s- spiders. Oh, centipedes. Oh. All that stuff. Yeah. And bugs were that big at one point. Yeah. At one point so in time, why, bugs were that big. Yes, exactly. And I also I also heard something that if if something if a if a creature is isolated, for example, on an island, if a creature is isolated, it'll never outgrow it. It will just begin to evolve and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh. Like stuff like that, but humans, we would get smaller and smaller and smaller. So who's Why? so who's to say that the bugs were getting smaller, maybe we were getting smaller. And the bugs are staying the same size. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so how about now? We were giants at one point. Oh, shit. And, and, and these fucking bugs. But the bugs would be giant right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm confusing myself. Yeah, that's what I was like. So it's a good on theory. On. I was onto something. I was onto something. You were onto something. Well, because, you know, like a shark will never outgrow its tank. Uh-huh. That's why uh, sharks, they can grow endlessly. Did you know that? I didn't know that. They will grow as big as... As humanly possible. Like, if they keep eating enough, they can get 30 feet long. Because great whites are, like, 18, 20 feet long. So they can get as big as the ocean. Technically. They will never stop growing. Okay. But if you leave a shark in a small tank, it'll never outgrow the tank. Never. They've done studies on it. It will never get bigger than its environment. No matter how much it eats. No matter how much. Why is that? Its body knows. It just knows. It has like it has like waves, room, room. You know, room, it just room. knows that it cannot outgrow it, and it will stay a certain size to live comfortably in that tank. Wow, it's weird. It's weird, oddly weird. So you could technically have a pet baby shark for a long time. That'd be cool. Baby shark. No wonder. No wonder what. No wonder my what my. No wonder why my wiener is so small. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking shark is. Oh, it needs, I wear it some needs small pants. It's never gonna outgrow its environment. <laughs> never gonna outgrow its environment. <laughs> With all the compression shorts I wear. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. We're fucked. Yeah, we're, we're cooked. cooked. We're cooked. We're fucking cooked. Um, remember a couple weeks ago you had this gut feeling, and I said I'd never had something like that before. Yeah. It happened today. Wow. No way. Way to trigger it. Way to trigger it. I, I had to tell my girl. What I'm going to tell you. No names. Uh, I got invited to a party last week. A work party. Not a work party, but he invited me to his house for a party. And I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. And I already got a word by from it then. But I told my girls, yeah, we got invited to a party. Just letting you know if you want to go. And then he's been talking about it all week. And I told my girl, every time he talks about it, I get sad. Like... Something in my chest hurts. And he's just talking about it. But when he talks about it, what does it make you feel? Going to depth. Worried. I feel worried and sad. Like, I'm getting sad right now just talking about it. Okay. And it's like, something in my head's like, just don't go. Just don't go. Don't go. And then today solidified it. He was talking and he was like... Honestly, bro, before the party starts, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to apologize in advance. I'm going to get so fucking drunk. And because of, because he had mentioned that, that solidified your answer, not going. Yeah, because I would already, like, I'm sure, like, if you want a proof, I can go back and show you the messages with my girl. I already told her I'm getting a weird feeling from last week. But this week, I felt it, like, here and here. A pain in my chest, like, deep in there, like, sad. And something in here is like, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. So there's an old head I was working with at work today, and uh, he's newer, but he's almost 50, so I asked him, I was like, hey man, you ever had a gut feeling before? He's like, yeah, 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 of course. And I was like, I was like, let me ask you something, I told him what I told you. And he's like, don't go. And he was like, let me tell you something. He's like, I had a gut feeling, and then I fucking ended up paying 26 years of my life to the government after that. 
jail. What well, what was his gut feeling? Did he tell you? No, but I'm sure it was like don't go. But I just got asked him. I was like, yeah, man. And I just told him like, you know, I'm getting a weird vibe. And he said this, and he's like, he's like, dog, just stay home, watch a movie. You know, he's like, just do what you do normally. He's like, it's not worth it. And he's like, whatever your gut's telling you, even if nothing does happen, you'll feel better. And I was like, yeah, I will feel better. But so, I hope nothing bad happens, because I'm getting like, it, it hurts. My chest, like I get, I, it worries me. It's scary. It's scary. It, it, it's, it's. That's I don't know scary. if it's a gut feeling or if I'm scared about it. Cause I've got invited to work parties all the time, and I'll go. Yeah, yeah, but when have you ever felt something like this before? Never. To where I, uh, I felt it a couple times. For a work party. Never. Or like a work get together. No, never. Cause typically, I mean, you're, you're, you're typically one to be um, eager to go. Not eager, Not but eager outgoing. To go. Outgoing. E- easy. Going. To go. Yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll go. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't... I just... I can't tell you what it is that's making me not want to go. And it's coming up this weekend? Yeah. He invited well, me last week. I guess we'll find out. Also, I don't even think I was invited. Because we all talk all the time. I think he just forgot to invite me because we all talk all the time we're in a group chat and shit like I talked to him all day at work he's fucking awesome he's a good guy cool guy and then he's like oh man I can't wait for next week not him but one of my friends I was like oh what's next week he was like oh his party and I was like oh is he gonna have a party he's like oh you didn't know and like an hour later he's like oh he's like yeah I'm having a party so like I was kind of invited like second hand even though I probably would have been invited uh-huh. he just forgot but yeah I'm not going it's for the best. And I already told my girl, I was like, Something, something's not right. I'm not liking it. Not liking it at all. The feeling I'm getting. I don't want to go. And especially if you're saying that, you know? Yeah, and then there's another thing. It's a party and you're already planning on getting fucked up and shit, but he's like, everyone's got to dress up nice, like fancy. Girls got to wear a fancy dress and the guys got to dress up real nice. And if you want people to go, why would you say that? I mean, saying you're going to get fucked up maybe, is one thing. Maybe that's his, like, his crowd. I don't know. It's not a work party. Like, he's inviting people from work, but I think it's, like, mostly his friends, too. Mm, you know? Okay, okay, okay. He's a very social, social guy. Uh-huh. I know that. Because you got that app where it's, like, you take picture just to, like, show people that you're doing something. And he, he invited me to his group chat on that app, and there was... Tons. What's that? What is that? I forgot. I stopped using it though. Instagram? Hmm? Instagram? No, no, no. <laughs> it's like uh, he did it to make sure everyone was like working out every day. So like we all joined it. Me and a few people at work, but he had like 50 friends in there and you could video call in there. They were all, every day they'd be on video call for hours. All of them. Is it that one Marco Polo? Yes, asked? yes. I invited you to it. Yeah. Yeah, I did Stop using it. After that. Yeah, that was a that was a dud. That was a dud. <laughs> I wonder if he still uses it. In my it. opinion. But yeah, that that could you say that's a gut feeling or or? Oh, absolutely okay. a gut feeling. A gut feeling can come from anything, from anything. I know, but it the sad part is what is what freaks me out. The sad, like deep deep sad, where it's like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? To where I had to, like, go outside and hide in the corner and, like, start texting my girl this shit. Like, where's, I, the, where's the sad coming from, though? That's... that's. I hope... I Like, in, in my head, I hope nothing bad happens. I really... Like, I really hope it's just like, eh, you just had a weird fucking gut feeling and the, the party was fine. Everything went great. Yeah, yeah. You and know? you just enjoyed your night have, yeah. watching a movie. That's watching it. a movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I hope it goes that way as well. Yeah. But, I mean... Weird, 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 weird. And 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 that's something like, we you will never know, because for example, I, I'm a firm believer in the butterfly effect, right? Mm-hmm. So you going, will cause something, or not going, will change the outcome completely. Maybe me going causes something bad, or maybe you going stops it. Oh no. Because because you you're the type of guy that will intervene if something bad happens. Yeah, I know, but you will try and and, and not be, this time. You will try and be the barrier to to Calm. de-escalate a yeah, situation. Uh-huh. You know, and who knows? Maybe maybe you're maybe you're like a saving grace, or you're the fucking detonator. 
I was the detonator this week as well at work. Uh, I had something happen at work. I'm usually not the type to kind of like snap, you know. So my lead, because I went to a new department, my lead and his daughter worked there. And I was only there for a week. Halfway through the week, Wednesday. Come in on Monday. They're not going to be here. They just got back yesterday. Where'd they go? Vacay? They, they had an emergency, family emergency. So they're like, they're not going to be here. And my boss said, you're in charge. And I was like, God damn it. You know? I was like, yeah, I worked here a few years ago, but I don't really know everything. So it's only been me in charge. And I've just been handling everything. Like, everything's fucking great. Like, I'm like, yeah, this shit's fucking easy over here. I love it over here. It's easy. And then I was sitting there wrapping up two days ago on Tuesday, wrapping up pallets. And uh, I had two guys missing, so I was fucking swamped. Like, I was doing everything. And then one of the girls that I used to work with in my old department comes up to me. She's like, oh, who's that guy right there? He's an older man. And I was like, oh, that one? And I was like, oh, that's him. She was like, yeah, he came up to me. And it was like, he said, yeah, that fucking guy over there, he's fucking lazy. He's like, take him back with you. I don't like him. He's fucking lazy. Talking about who? Talking about me. Okay. And then uh, I was like, oh, he really said that. This is all in Spanish. Pinche huevón, shit like that, you know? And I was, he's talking, I was like, me? He said that? And she was like, mm-hmm. I was like, really? That guy said that about me. And I usually I just like, eh, whatever. Fuck him. Like, they can talk shit about me all you want. I don't know why. I got real pissed. Just weren't having it that day. Not having it. I went right up to him. He was talking to somebody. And I go, I was like, you think I'm fucking lazy? And he was like, what? I was like, you think I'm fucking lazy? And he was like, no, I didn't say that. He was like, no, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So anyways, I told him, do you think I'm fucking lazy? And he was like, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And I was like, that's not what I heard from her. And he was like, no, no, no. I was just, uh, I didn't say that. He's like, I'll, I'll go bring her right now. I didn't fucking say that. And I was like, don't ever fucking ask me for help again. Because he's been asking me for help for every little thing. Oh, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? Sure. Got you. Got you. Got you. I'm in charge. Like you're, I'm in charge. You're asking me to help you with something or help you figure out something. I'm, I'm on it. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, don't ever ask me for help, fucking help again. You understand? And he was like, oh, I didn't need your fucking help. I was like, yeah, sure you fucking did it. All right. And I walked away. And he comes back like five minutes later after going to talk to the girl. And he was like, he's like, no, man, she said she was just messing around with you. Like, and he's like, and I call everyone lazy. I was just, I was just, I was just messing around. And I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude. But the shop steward was right there when I was yelling at him. And he was like, what was that about? And he's like, I just saw all that. He's like, what was that? And I was like, I just said this shit. So then we all got called to the office. It was nice. It was great. I got in trouble. Sometimes you got to be a bomb. No, but no, legit though, I felt like as like a, as a human or as a man, I guess, I had to stand on that. Stand, you stand it on business. Yeah, I went straight to his fucking face. And then uh, after all, all was said and done, they called us in there individually with the shop steward and, and my, my boss. And he came up to me after. He was like, I just want to apologize. He's like, let's just squash it. I was like, okay. In my head, no, I'm not squashing it. Because even if he was fucking around, which I doubt. He was just like, fuck, he wasn't standing on it, you know what I'm saying? He could have said, yeah, I think you're fucking lazy, but he didn't. Yeah, for real. He was like, oh, I was just, I was just kidding. And I was like, so why would you tell a girl that you never talked to? She doesn't even know your fucking name, that, and you're messing around. That's not messing around. Nah. She didn't even know your name, dude. Yeah, so I had to stand on that, and I did. And I, we squashed it, but I'm not helping him. Unless, unless my boss says, hey, he needs help, go help him, that's it. If he says, oh, can you move that for me, or can you help me with this? No. Every time he walks by, dirty ass look. Not dirty, just straight faced. Straight faced in. I wonder if he's getting any gut feelings. Honestly, no. <laughs> no, I don't think he had any gut feelings. Think I think he, he just didn't stand on business and he bitched out. Think he hates you? Probably. Think he's scared of you? <laughs> no. I don't. I could take him in a fight though, for real. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if it came down to it. Brother, he's, in, he's an elderly bro. No, he move. He he moving. He's an elderly bro. He's he's kind of he's kind of good. He's he's fit, brother. He's a Is he's he? a fit he's a fit guy. He's an RFK. Not to that extent, <laughs> but he he moving. That's a fit elderly right there. Oh yeah, that's a fit elderly. I saw some lady like on Twitter like oh he, he's only doing fucking thirty pounds like. 
I did that's see that weak. dude. I saw that too. And everyone's like, he's fucking 80 years old or something. Okay. You know? But to be honest, I know we have seen some older gentlemen at 24 Hour Fitness pushing way more than that. Yeah, and they're not probably not on TRT. They probably are. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I think I could take him. I always picture myself like if I had to fight someone, I'd totally grapple. Oh, dude, hold on. I'd grapple. Yeah, and then oh my knee. <laughs> no, because I feel like if I if I do, if I do stand and bang, it's over. My knee gives out. I'm you done. Think so I said I gotta take him to the ground. Gotta take him to the ground. Hand fight. Or you can just bust out the crane, you know, depend on one leg, your good one. And yeah. And just fucking raise up the left. Bam! And get him in the face. But you have to land on your... Oh, no. You're right. I guess I can practice. You can crane that shit. Crane that shit, and then, um... You know what I will... My, my instant go-to fight move hmm. is, like, the Kill Bill where she fucking... Pulls the pulls eye out of her out. fucking yeah. eye socket. That's what I want to do. I want to do that so bad. Prize picks, brother. Remember I told you my fucking my game plan? Is it, how's it working? I won ten dollars so far. A win I've, is a I've win. I've done I've done three one one. Whether it be an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. I've put in fifteen dollars, gotten back ten. So that's a win. Three five dollar bets, gotten ten dollars. Happy with it. I, I'm gonna continue it this weekend. Well you're better than negative. Better than negative, better than nothing. But the one that was going to be the most money was like 140 bucks. But hold on. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. Go again. ahead. Go ahead. But if you put in 15 and you got 10, I'm still negative. You're negative, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you. A win's a fucking win. Okay. You're fucking negative. One of three, 33 <laughs> percent. I'm fucking. I'm going. Make it make sense, muchacho. <laughs> I'm fucking hitting. I'm hitting. They baby. hit you with the Uno reverse card. I should be at 66 percent. It's just mind games, dude. Bitch ass Lamar, dog. Actually, no. I. I love Lamar Jackson. I put he was going to have over 49 and a half rushing yards. This was going to be for a $140 win. Okay. Because this one's, I'm going to do a 5 1 on this one. And he had 48. 40 fucking 8. 40 fucking 8. And guess what? The Bitch last, ass Lamar. last play of the game, he just takes off sprinting because they needed, they needed to get to the end zone to win. They needed the points. And this man's a bolt. And he went like 30 yards. I was like, I won. I fucking won. Laterals. And then the fucking guy drops it. End of the game at 48. If he would have just got tackled or something, boom, that's a win. That's 140 profit plus 10, 150. Now that is a win. That's a dub. Yo. Jameis Winston. That's a dub. Jameis Winston, by the way, is arguably one of my favorite players right now in football. He is the best team player. The best team player. Of all time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Of all time? I don't know. Okay, I won't say of all time, but he's a not a team. He doesn't play. He's just a great motivator. And at practice, when he's calling plays... <laughs> he gives great ass slaps, I bet. Probably. I bet. Probably. He tore his ACL. Oh, fuck. And they no won. No wonder why you like him so and, much. No, they won. And he was dancing on with one crutch. It was fucking hilarious, <laughs> dude, in the locker room. Like, they had, like, a little... Oh, it was awesome. That's a morale booster, believe it or not. He's the biggest morale guy. You, you, you need a morale guy, get James Winston. You, you see a boy over here, half a fucking man, and he's over here still fucking... This is before up? he knew it was torn. Like, he, they took him out of the game. They still ended up winning. A big game, and he was he had a brace on with crutch, and he was fucking dancing. Is this a season-ending injury? Oh yeah. This guy is gonna get the worst news. When he's ever. calling plays, though, they said he he, like at practice, he'll do it as like a secret, like he'll say it secretly, you know, and people love it. He's like a great, you know, like before the game starts, they do the speech. He gives the speeches. He hypes them up. He he knows he's not starting, but he knows his role. His role is morale. His role is to fucking boost people's energy right before the game. He's get them going. He's going to get that dick hard. Yeah. And you said the W shit. There is a classic one where he's like, what are we going to do? We're going to eat that W. And he goes, <laughs> and licks all his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out Jameis, bro. For real. That's his sport. And I used to fucking. Uh, Jake sent me the stat. And I was like, I love it. Because <laughs> I used to fucking. 
I had Jameis Winston when I first started doing fantasy, and I was like, yeah, this guy gives me tons of points. I don't care. 4,000 yards. Amazing. 30 touchdowns. Great. Really good. 30 interceptions. Terrible. Bro was just 50-50. <laughs> and I was such a dick writer. Of, not like a dick writer, but I was like, he was like, oh yeah, I play blind. He's like, I can't see nothing. He was like, I'm getting LASIK this year. And I was like, oh, he's going, he's going off. He totally fell off after that LASIK. I'm sure it completely changed his perception. So, yeah. So he was playing half blind. And I was like, no wonder he's 30 for 30. He's just throwing it. You know what it is, though? Someone's going to catch it. You know what it is? Is, do you, do you re- you've been wearing <laughs> glasses for so long. Uh-huh. But I specifically remember when I put glasses on for the first time. This is probably, I refused to wear glasses. I was prescribed them at a pretty young age, but I refused. I put them off until, I want to say, like, junior high. When did you start wearing them? Sixth grade. Okay. So you might remember this as well. But you get your first pair of prescribed glasses. You put them on. Yep. And you kind of feel like. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're, you're, you, the floor is deeper than it is. That's what it is for him. That LASIK was yes. fresh. Yes. That LASIK was fresh and the field was a lot deeper than it actually was. You know? Bro just has a can and just throws it. Like I said, someone's down there. And he's like, yeah, I can't see. Just throw it. Like Kelsey Plum, huh? She's got a cannon. Does she? Oh, yeah. There's videos of her just chucking it to the third story of the fucking... Yeah, dude. The Spurs Arena? Yeah. That's when she was a rookie. That's when she was a rookie. No, she ain't got a cannon anymore. It's gone. She's got a cannon, all right. Not on her. In her. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, do you know who her husband is? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't. He's a retired... F- Professional football player. Yeah, like Tight I end. said. Like I Tight said. End. He's got a cannon. He, he's good looking. He's good looking. What's his fucking name? I totally forgot. Fuck. What's his name? James Blunt. No. What's his name? Darren Waller. Light skinned boy. Who's James Blunt? Sounds familiar. Did I just think of that on my own? It sounds very real. I just thought of that. Sounds real. Maybe it's a fictional character. Darren Waller. He wasn't anything like. You know, goaded or anything at all. I want to see this man for myself. Mm, hmm. He got a big old dig. He got a cannon, let's be real. <laughs> he got a big old dig. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, I would say he was a good he was a good tight end. He wasn't amazing and he wasn't terrible. He was above average, more than above average, I would say. Alright, he's pretty good. Height. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> brother! Fucking packed, and he searches height. Fuck. Six 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 six. six, six, six. <laughs> <laughs> brother, packing. Um. Holy uh, fuck, she's five eight. She looks way taller in pictures. Oh yeah, way taller. Um, fuck. What they fucking say about him? He was on some TV show, and it was like. Uh, Something like one of the best or like the goat tight end or something like that. That's what it was. I'm like, you know, it says Darren Waller, what he what he was. Uh-huh. It was something like that was amazing. Everyone's like, when the fuck did that happen? Where did that come from? That He was never that. The goat or something. I forgot. It was going viral on Twitter. He was just kind of like an average player. Average. Above average. Good player. Above okay, average. Okay. Uh, kind of injuries kind of ruined him, I think. Because his last few seasons, they were pretty bad. And he just ended up retiring. With dick loads of money. And dick. And dick. And, dick. <laughs> and now his girl's running the show. Yeah. Now she's bringing in the checks. Hey, two professional athletes? That's good shit right there. Buddy. Amazing. I hope, I hope they have a great, loving relationship. I hope they make it far. I mean, she's already a two-time champion. Fuck. Fuck. Man. Good for her. Good for them. Sucks that he played on the Raiders and the Giants. We were just terrible. The terrible Ravens, teams. too, no? Did, Did I see the Ravens? I think I saw Maybe the Maybe when he was young. I only knew him on the Raiders and in the in the Giants. But uh, with that, brother, I think, I'm, I think I'm ready. I'm about ready to go, too. Hopefully I got to suck on my balls. You know what I'm saying? I stood on business. Oh, yeah. Hey, but I'm usually not the type <laughs> to... Suck on my big old grapefruit nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you got to nuts like grapefruits, boy. I'm usually not the... Like, me, I feel like I'm not the confrontational type. You gonna put your nuts on his phone? <laughs> <laughs> you 
gonna slap your nuts on his forehead. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor fucking guy. You're gonna humble this guy with your ball sack. He got eczema too, for real. Like, you know, oh, he got eczema. You know how, um, <laughs> you know how Russians use those like leaves to like yes. soothe the body. Uh-huh. You're gonna use your nut sack to soothe this. Bang, 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 bang. I'll fucking diddy his ass. I'll, I'll be the diddler. Whoa, 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 <laughs> brother. <laughs> you, you're gonna sedate this man and, uh. Nah, I just put some baby oil down. I'll fucking. I'll destroy him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, with that, episode 129 has been great. Is it ha- This is a great number. Great episode. Shout out, uh, shout out the diddler. Fuck no. <laughs> hey, okay, qu- still question though. What are you gonna do with a thousand bottles of baby oil? And I'll. There's nowhere in life at any time you need a thousand bottles of baby oil. Hey, bl- black people, you know, Ashley, Ashley stands out. Hey, they need the, their their knees, Ashley's all that sucking they, they're Ashley, doing for diddler. Ashley stands out, you know what I'm saying? So he, he he's lathering himself up. With how good his skin looks? Come on, brother. All right, with that, I'm fucking ready. This has been one the 129th episode of Daddy's Dungeon. Yeah. Peace.